So Urzikstan has been here for about three or four days now. And although the map is very bright and vibrant, a lot more so than Almazra, certainly Caldera and Ashika and Vondel. But what I've done over the last couple of days is see if I can tweak it here or there just to give it some better color graphic settings um, with the NVIDIA filters to make it pop just that little bit more. And I think I've found them. If you do find this video at all useful, please drop a like, subscribe. There's going to be more Call of Duty Warzone content, tips, videos, you name it. So please do sub and hit the naughty bell. And let's just get into it. Okay, so now that we are here on Plunder, I've just dropped into a game of Plunder so we can show this off first thing you need is nvidia geforce experience which has got the nvidia filters on there if you want to i can put a link to it down below in the description obviously with this you need nvidia graphics cards for this to work now once you've got it open once you've got it installed and you've turned the overlay on the default that you need to click is alt and z and that will bring up the menu in which case you then go to the game filter what you want to do it goes to the game filter and as you can see what's going to happen now as i turn it on you can see the difference that it makes it's a little bit more vibrant a little more bright just sort of bounce between them you can see it it's quite a drastic change in my opinion anyway so first thing you want to be doing is going and setting to add filter and which filter you want to add is the details now these need to be in the correct order as well so make sure it goes in this order you can alter the order by doing this uh, clicking the button there and there so the first one you need to collect select is details you want to put the sharpen down to 11 percent the clarity you want down to up to 80 percent hdr toning down up to 60 percent and the bloom to zero from here the brightness and contrast there's a couple of things so there's exposure at 14 percent contrast at 42 percent highlights at minus 16 percent shadows at two percent and gamut at minus 2%. Lastly, you want to set the tint color to 99%, tint intensity to 30%, temperature to minus 19.6. I'm guessing that's a glitch on mine, so get it as close to minus 20 as you can. And the vibrance, again, around 36 to 37. One of the things you can do if you're not sort, if you think this is a little bit too cool, <laughs> you can always turn the temperature up a little bit. And also, if you change, you the tint color will go obviously run through the range of motions. So if you want it to be a little bit more or like warmer orange wise, I'd have it like right the way down. If you want the blues to pop a little bit more, then you want to set it to 100%. This is what I found has worked really well. You can see players a little bit better. It makes it a little bit more vibrant, a bit more nice to see. So if you want to check these out, if you think that are useful, if you've got any suggestions on what I need to should add, change or of your own ones that you've got your own settings on drop them down below in the comments below and if you found it, it's all useful like subscribe and all that jazz and until next time we'll catch you all in the gameplay 